Earlier today. Lieutenant Governor and I have been spoken to in, in an attempt that we might be prepared for something like this playing itself out in our state. You can never be prepared for this kind of incident. What has happened, what has transpired at that school building uh, will leave uh, a mark on this community and every family uh, impacted. Um, uh, I only uh, ask that uh, all of our fellow citizens here in the United States and around the world who have already offered uh, their assistance remember all of the victims uh, in their prayers. To all of you on the uh, media, uh, we will do our best to keep you as informed uh, as we can. Uh, after I'm done speaking, um, a representative of the state police uh, will speak to you and uh, give you some additional uh, information. Uh, earlier today, a number of our citizens, beautiful children, uh, had their life taken away from them, uh, as well as adults uh, whose responsibility it was to educate and supervise those children. The perpetrator of the crime is dead, uh, as is an individual uh, who uh, the perpetrator lived with. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Paul Vance, uh, who will uh, answer uh, or will give you some additional information. Uh, and then um, later in the day, uh, perhaps we'll speak again. Uh, again, I think uh, on behalf of the people of the state of Connecticut, uh, we extend our condolences as I have at the firehouse uh, to um, the parents of uh, these, uh, these children, uh, as well as the adults that are there. Um, I want to uh, thank the president, uh, uh, who has been on the phone uh, with us today uh, for uh, his statement released to you a little while ago, as well as the statements he made to me uh, earlier, to, much earlier today uh, as the hours race by. Uh, and with that, uh, I should also say that there are a number of public officials, including the first select woman uh, who has been uh, on site uh, throughout uh, the day. Uh, we have um, uh, uh, state representatives, state senator, other uh, select people who are here. Um, uh, uh, we have the superintendent of schools uh, who has uh, done uh, wonderful uh, work uh, in helping us uh, uh, get the information necessary to begin the processes that will be ongoing for a number of hours uh, uh, in, in advance. I want to thank uh, uh, Senator Blumenthal and Senator-elect Murphy for also uh, joining us. With that, I'm going to absent myself. Mr. Vance will come forward uh, and speak to you. Thank you very much. Hi, good evening. I just would like to restate some of the information that we made available early, earlier. Uh, We'll take some questions, but I must preface my remarks by saying this is an active, ongoing investigation. There is a great deal of work to go, and there is a lot of things that we cannot confirm or discuss as of yet. But shortly after 9.30 this morning, Newtown Police Department received a call for help at the Sandy Hook Elementary School uh, here in, in Newtown. Uh, upon re realizing the intensity and the difficulty of the situation, Newtown called for surrounding police departments and state police to respond to assist. Upon arrival of law enforcement officers at the school, they immediately entered the school as we knew this was an active, potential active shooter situation. Their focus was to search for students, faculty, and staff and remove them to a safe area outside of the school. They did search every nook and cranny, every room, and every portion of that school and accomplished that task. They took the rescue to a staging area to reunite them with, with family members. As has been reported, there were fatalities. There were 18 children that were pronounced dead at the school. There were two that were transported to area hospitals and pronounced dead at area hospitals. And there were six adults pronounced dead at the scene at the school. As the governor's reported, the shooter is deceased. Is deceased in the school. 
Uh, there's a great deal of work going on relative to that. That's the reason we have not identified him as of yet. And by that I mean search warrants, examination of areas of, of uh, uh, residence, employment, and any ancillary things that may be attached to the identity and to that individual. The scene has been secured. Newtown police officers, state police major crime units from both Western District and Central District have responded and are working with several agencies to process this scene. It is not a simplistic scene, as you can certainly understand. We need to establish identity, we need to document the entire scene, and simply stated, we need to answer every single question surrounding exactly how and why this incident occurred. As the governor said, we will be here through the night, but certainly through the weekend, and we're not even putting a time stamp on this as to when we will complete this project. We'll work with the medical examiner's office. We have to establish positive identification, and uh, again, there's a great deal of work that needs to be done uh, here at the school. And we'll take some, some very, again, very brief questions, but I understand that this is an active, ongoing case, and there are many things that we cannot and will not discuss at this time. Yes, sir. We're told that there are two other crime scenes, including the suspect's father's home in New Jersey and his mother's home here in Newtown. There is a secondary crime scene here in, in, in Newtown. That, that is, in fact, correct. Uh, there is a, an, an adult deceased uh, at that location. Uh, I can't discuss any further information on that at this time. Uh, there is assistance being lended to us by uh, New Jersey. I don't have the details on that, so I can't answer that. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I can, I can simply state that uh, the information that we have right now that we want to publicize that the shootings did take place in one section of the school in two rooms. Okay, one section in two rooms. That's that's as much as we want to go in right now as far as location. Our personnel are documenting that entire scene and we'll have literally everything mapped out in the final report, final information. We'll present the answers to those questions. But right now, I, I don't have any more detail than that. Okay? You had a question, sir. Someone? Right now, there is, there is one shooter, but again, we're still looking at every ancillary fact and circumstance uh, related to the deceased shooter at the scene. Yes, sir. Uh, no, I don't have that information. I'm sorry. Uh, to be determined, I don't have the answer to that question either. The next step will be the medical examiner's office will certainly assist us in answering a lot of those questions, the manner and cause of death of, of all of the deceased. That's it. 20, 26 deceased. Uh, one, I'm sorry, one injury. One person was injured. Yes. I'm sorry? They're in one section or one area of the of the school. That's the best I can do on that answer. I don't know specifically how many rooms were involved. I was told that there were two, but in one section of the school building. Everyone was in that same section of the building. Not to be, to be determined, sir. A section of the building is as far as we want to go. Did you already say? We did not. We did not. That's to be determined once the post-mortem examinations are, are complete. Does 26 as a, include the shooter as well? I'm sorry? Does 26 include the shooter? The 20 children, six, six adults, and the shooter. 27, 27 total. That's, That's correct. So, 20 children and the one at the house. house. Just at the school. That's correct. That's at the school itself. And then there's one more that we just said at a secondary crime scene. There's a, a deceased adult at the secondary crime scene. Yes, ma'am. To be determined. That's really something that our investigators are going to have to look at thoroughly and completely, and that'll take some time to try and answer that question. We haven't established any of that, ma'am. We have not made any positive identifications. We're working on that. There's some preliminary uh, identifications have been made, but we have, as I said, a great deal of work. That's one thing we have to do is establish positive identification on all the deceased, and that's a time-consuming process. Lieutenant, do we know the ages of the, of the victims? The ages, the range, the I don't, no, I don't. This is a K through four elementary school. And when, okay. when police went into the school, were there still shots being fired at that time? That I don't know. I don't know the, the time sequence, and that, that'll be something that we will provide you. What I'd like to do is, no, we did not. What I'd like to do then is, is tell you that this is, a, this is a briefing. We'll be back in 60 minutes. Myself and Lieutenant from Newtown will be back in 60 minutes. We'll see if there's any more detail. I've got some of the questions that you've, that you've posed. I'll see if I can get some more answers. Uh, to provide you uh, with information, and that will be just about 20 to 5, quarter to 5. I, I, that I don't know. Can you say that's 20 children, 6 adults in the shooter, is that correct? 20 children, 6 adults in, this, in the facility, 
plus the shooter, that's 27, and then a secondary scene with an additional adult victim at that secondary scene. So 28 Okay. 28. Okay. You said quarter to five? Yeah, about, about 20 up, quarter to five will be. Do you have an age range on the children? I do not. I do not. Yeah. One thing, one thing I would like to say is that we've been asked, we've been meeting with all of the family members. Uh, it's a very, very difficult scene for the family members, for all the responding first responders. It's a tragedy. It's a tragic scene. I would, we've been asked by the family members to ask the members of the press to respect their privacy and to please leave them alone at this time. They're going through a tremendous amount of grief, which I'm sure you can appreciate. So I would. I've been asked to, uh, to, to ask you that uh, personally by the family members, all right? I'll be back in 60 minutes with the lieutenant. We'll answer any uh, additional questions we can. I don't know. I, I get it.